Hey, what's up guys, JQ Tech Creation. Now, in order to get the most optimal experience out of the new MacBook Pros, we need to take advantage, full advantage of those four Thunderbolt 3 ports since that's all we get. Now, not only have I achieved this with my personal setup, but the result is a future-proof, minimalistic, feature-packed workstation. And hopefully this can give you guys some ideas for your very own MacBook Pro configurations. Now, I've already, uh, covered some of this stuff individually so be sure to go check those links down below in the description but I've never actually explained how I have everything configured and connected together. So I'm using the late 2016 MacBook Pro with Touch Bar. I didn't see the need to grab the most recent refresh because performance on this machine is just fine. Alright so first things first. I picked up a bunch of certified Thunderbolt 3 cables identified by a lightning bolt logo and a USB-C connection. Now there's a lot of cheap garbage cables out there so you definitely want to make sure you get your hands on the right ones. So I'll be sure to drop some links down below to some top notch certified TB3 cables. Quick disclaimer though these cables are expensive and for a pretty good reason too. I mean they're able to handle audio, video, data, and supply power all at the same time all over a single cable. So some pretty powerful stuff there. I'll leave some articles down below where you can learn more about Thunderbolt 3 in better detail. Probably the most useful thing with Thunderbolt technology is the ability to daisy chain devices together, simplifying your connections and eliminating the nightmare of wires. As you can see, just look how clean. Those three black cables is all it takes to branch this entire setup. The best part about this setup is that when the next MacBook Pro refresh comes out, it's just a matter of unplugging this and literally putting the new machine in its place while still taking advantage of the latest tech. No swapping wires, no reorganization, everything else remains intact. So to demonstrate, I start this off by running one cable from the MacBook Pro into either one of the Thunderbolt 3 ports on the TS3 Lite. The TS3 is a beautiful Thunderbolt 3 dock available by CalDigit and shout out to them for sending this out. No, they did not sponsor this video. Now this is compatible with both Mac and PC. On the front, it features two 5 gigabit USB 3.1 Gen 1 ports, one in a USB-C form factor and the other in USB-A. Now on the back you get two Thunderbolt 3 ports, one display port, an ethernet port, an in and out port for 3.5mm audio, and an included 12 volt power source. Simply put, this is basically adding additional ports to your Mac. Now once I've done that, all of the data from my MacBook Pro is now linked to the dock and it's ready to be accepted by another device. And that other device is my 4K USB-C monitor by LG. Now, what a gorgeous display this is. I've been using it since my last setup and I simply just haven't found a reason to switch it. Now, the monitor doesn't support daisy chaining, but that's okay because it does support DisplayPort over the USB-C input, meaning that it's able to deliver full audio, video, and data over a single USB-C Gen 2 cable connection at 10 gigabits per second. So it's similar to a TB3 cable. I mean, they look basically identical, but it just can't handle the amount of bandwidth that a TB3 cable can, meaning you'll get slower transfers, which ultimately means there's no support for eGPU when you're using a USB-C Gen 2 cable. So now if you're following me, the data from my MacBook Pro is now linked up to my monitor from the Thunderbolt 3 dock. So now my monitor is a data hub. What this allows me to do is utilize those two USB 3.0 ports on the back to connect my solar powered K750 wireless keyboard. Yes, I still use this. I mean, if it ain't broken, don't fix it. I use this along with my MX Master 2S that was just released, both made by Logitech. This is a great keyboard mouse combination and both happen to be a great color match as well. So we've already added a significant number of ports to the workstation and we only use one port on the MacBook and there's three more available. So next I used a separate port to plug the second Thunderbolt 3 cable to attach my fast desktop RAID storage, the Lacie 6 Big. Features six drives, four terabytes each running other a RAID 5 configuration, leaving me with about 20 terabytes to work with. Now if you wanna know more about the 6 Big, I did a full video on it, so be sure to go check that out. Now unlike the LG monitor, the 6 Big does support daisy chaining, meaning that it too behaves like a dock. So without using up another port on the MacBook, I can use the available second Thunderbolt 3 port on the 6 Big to run a USB-C cable out and into my USB-C powered headphone stand, adding yet another hub with an additional three USB ports along with the ever so coveted SD card reader that you guys complain so much about. Talk about killing three birds with one stone. It's a modern looking headphone stand, brilliant yet functional addition to any desktop setup. Now this is a one of a kind headphone stand that you can't find anywhere else because unfortunately this was a Kickstarter that didn't reach enough funding, but I was lucky enough to get my hands on an early prototype. So quick shout out to those guys for sending this out and I hope it reaches market again 
through other means. So resting on top of it, I keep my Audio-Technica ATH-M50Xs in white. I love these headphones, very clean look. It matches my keyboard mouse combination and it outputs incredible sound. It's perfect for music and video editing. No, it's not USB-C powered like everything else, but it's also one of the very few headphones to feature a detachable cord, which was a huge selling point for me. So I need somewhere to plug these in, right? And that's where this USB-C powered audio interface comes into play. Appropriate for the setup, this is the 2x2 C series by M Audio, a welcomed upgrade from the Scarlett Solo in my previous setup. Now it's connected to my MacBook Pro via an available USB port behind the TS3 dock where it receives data and 48 volts of phantom power all through a single USB-A to USB-C cable. This looks incredible on this desktop. It supports two instruments and two XLR inputs. I occasionally use this for voiceovers and playback to my speakers via RCA cables. Smooth knob adjustments offers buttery smooth rotation that's satisfying to adjust. Let's me seamlessly fade between headphone and speaker monitoring with a simple turn of a knob, which is another reason why I love the C-Series. Now we're still not done just yet. We have two more ports left. So in the third MacBook port, I run another TB3 cable to attach my Lacie Bolt 3. This is a two terabyte Thunderbolt 3 external SSD for your desktop. I also did a separate video on this. Also has fast performance. I use it for editing my footage off of. Now the best part here is that the Bolt 3 provides an additional Thunderbolt 3 port. So to complete complete this workstation, I went ahead and daisy chained my USB-C SanDisk Extreme 960GB portable SSD, also some very fast storage that's capable of editing 4K footage on the go, and I've attached it under my table with this handy 3M Velcro tape. This is definitely a must have for any setup. So I keep it there, this way it's out of sight, so if I'm ever in the need to edit on the go, I can just transfer my current project from the Bolt 3 to the SanDisk, peel it off the Velcro and be on my way to continue editing elsewhere. It doesn't get any more practical than that. So I only really need three of the four Thunderbolt 3 ports available as far as connectivity goes. And the fourth port, I actually use that to charge the MacBook itself with Apple's charger. This is because although the Thunderbolt 3 peripherals do supply power, none of them provide the 87 watts of power that's required to charge the MacBook Pro. Now as a bonus, completely unrelated to Thunderbolt, I highly recommend to get these accessories for any room or setup. These are 3M adhesive self-stick mini drawers that's perfect for sticking underneath tables, incredibly strong contact. You simply just press them in and the drawer pops out. I basically use these to keep little knickknacks, cables, cleaning cloths, etc. Things I don't necessarily want visible on the desk, but at the same time, I do want quick access to when I do need them. This is perfect for that. Links will be down below in the description. So yeah, that's about it. If you tally all this up, I've added seven USB ports, an ethernet port, an SD card reader, an audio interface, and a combined 23 terabytes of fast additional storage, all without the mess of dongles. And with all this connected, I still have one display port left to connect a second 4K display if I wanted to. This legit provides everything that one should need for high-end post-production and should take you many years into the future as new MacBooks continue to come out without having to change a single thing. This is how you do a desktop setup. Go ahead and drop those comments down below and let me know what are your thoughts. And if you enjoyed this video, please show me some love by pressing that like button. And if this is your first time on the channel, I wanna thank you for stopping by and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on some more awesome tech videos. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for watching and I will see you in the next video. Peace out.